Free fall. A man with a telephone falls from the sky. I fall after him, all through the night above the bright edge of the eastern seaboard and the black plain of the Atlantic. I see cloud banks below lit orange like some arid shore where ships make landfall time zones away from me. I look up the number of the falling man on my list of recent calls as I free fall through the still clear dark. He picks up after three rings on my end, on his end, maybe four. He begins with apologies for being on the other line when I tried to contact him. His voice still sounds distracted, as if half listening to that other voice, half speaking to that other ear neither of us can see. Our conversation falls as distracted ones fall into territories unforeseen. We speak for hours on ancient themes that he knows better than I. Ashamed, I admit Pegasus makes me think of mobile oil, of a red-winged horse on a field of white enamel, of seas sluggish with crude. I admit I know Bellerophon only through one book, and then only because I had to read that book during my college years before other long years journeying home. He asked me a bit too softly under the force of night air rushing past, my unencumbered ear, can you be content on the course your life follows? After taking a few moments to compose myself, a few moments with both of us listening to static close in one ear and the feathered sound of falling in the other. I reply, until you asked, I felt left behind by heroes, always off on their journeys. We hang there, suspended by data streaming between our ears through a satellite's block and tackle far above. At last, as if he is straining against some heavy, unexpected weight, he says, Yeah. <laughs>